only speak for one, for one cat, he speaks for, for everyone. The greatest thing about Obama is that he's been able to like capture the youth and like speak to the youth and be very sort of inspirational. Um, both the American youth, youth, which has been very like, sort of very known to be very passive in elections and not voting, but he's been able to mobilize and he'll speak out to everyone as if everyone is the same. Yeah. So not okay. We'll bring this together and that together. We're all are together. But we're all the same in being different, right? Yes. Yeah. That's actually the thing yeah. then. What is the bad side, for instance, of being different, living together? feeling the same but different. Sometimes the communication or what you think is okay or um, is not okay for someone else. So like there's different boundaries and it's been at least this school is just, it's not a struggle but it's something that you're aware of that where do people's boundaries lie. In this school especially people are pretty open and yeah. And people like make lots of jokes yeah. about nationalities. And we don't get offended. No. You, don't get, you don't get offended. If you come here and then if you would be like oh look what she's wearing or oh, look what she has then you would totally not be accepted in this school because everybody is everyone's so used to accepting mm -hmm. everyone as they are and like we just you don't look at each other as you're from a different country you're from different, we're all from a different country so we can relate to each other we're aware of each other's different cultures so we have respect for that like, i want to go to united states why to study because in korea it's really like not open education we, we have to stop in our home and study all night long. It's so boring. I don't want to go back to that place. <laughs> when I was moving around, I always said to my mom, when I'm older, I'm going to stay in one house my whole life and I'm never going to move. But now when I'm actually I'm a little bit older, I, I realize that that would be really boring. Like, um, if, you know, if you know you move somewhere, you know in the back of your head you might be leaving in a year or two. Mm -hmm. So then you block the feeling. You, get, you, you become friends with someone, but you block the feeling of, but you always keep in the back of your head. If uh, yeah, I know I'm leaving, you know. So don't get, so don't be sad. Enjoy it while you have your friends, you know. I never stayed in a place too long to call it home. So where I am, that's my home. I have lived in Denmark for the most of my life. I have lived other places, um, but that's definitely my. That's like my base. That is my home. I know the culture inside out. Um, I speak the language fluently. Um, but then it's funny because then I live in Holland. Then when I come back. I like it a lot, but then after a while I get annoyed. I get annoyed with home and I find it, you know, the politics or the way people talk or the way people, because it's a very small country and it's a little bit like Holland's like pretty racist sometimes and then when you come from Amsterdam and you come from the school and you go back, you know, it just I just get really frustrated. I'm sitting in my room mostly just studying. I don't... That is home. Yes. Oh, your computer. I sit on my computer talking to people that's that it's, it's not it's not my it's not the house it's not a house it's not a city but it's the people who I feel at home with I'm really Colombian in a sense that I love the food and all that stuff but when it comes to uh, opinion I think I'm more European and Canadian in that sense because Colombians think they're more closed and they're not so educated about the outside world, so, yeah, I don't know. I was actually, like, raised, well, I grew up in Sweden until I was, like, nine or something, you know? And so, I, I was really happy there, you know, I loved it there and stuff, but now when I go back, I go back every summer or every other two, every two months or something, then, I, like, I start to hate the country more and more, really. I really don't like it, I really don't like the, the people's, I'm so, I'm so, like, used to this open school, open people, it's open community, and when you come there, people are so cold and so like I don't know, selfish and shut and like so in their house, in their mind, you know, this is my life, this is my car, my school, my work. That, that's it, you know. Go. I've worked at Dutch schools. What? what? Who is gay? What? Not Sarah. We don't have Sarah. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Are some girls here? <laughs> 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 Rebecca, come on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't really like that. Because, <laughs> uh, like, I don't know. I don't think it's natural. I guess that's, <laughs> like, you know, I don't, I don't care if you're, like, if you're gay, but, like, you, I don't think you need to be all, like, 
open. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be all open, like, yeah. uh, <laughs> No, I don't like, like, like the weird drag queens or, like, the exposure, but I just think, I mean, if it's normal, <laughs> if it's just normal, I mean, well, yeah, I think if, if it makes you feel better as a, as a person, if you, if you, if you feel better wearing pink shoes than black shoes, if you look yourself in the mirror, and if you feel better as, as then I think, yeah, I think you should be able to wear whatever you want. Like, on one hand, I like gay people a lot. They're awesome. But on the other hand, I really hate them. And it's kind of split in there. But the only reason is, like, the gay people are great. They're what they do. They're what they are. They're, and they don't really care about it. But on the other hand, the part that I really just don't like is when they, like, just this... It's not when they, like, just push themselves onto other people. What if, like, a really ugly girl was coming onto you? <laughs> so, huh? like, you saying, you're, like, people, you're, like, I mean, not you, but the people you might know might be against, like, the gays because you think they're, like, pushy, but what if, like, there's a girl, you know, she doesn't even have to be ugly, she, you're just not interested in her, and she does exactly the same thing, then would you hate her just as much as you might think the gay guy can do? No, it's not, it's not, I'm not talking about hating the gay guy, it's just hating the nags, those little Yeah, but, I mean, gays tweets. don't just have that nag. Everyone has I that know. nag. I yeah. know. So then, like, like this very pushy straight girls, that's actually what you yeah, say. Yeah, there's pushy straight no. girls, straight guys. And you have also gays who don't push at all. Yeah. So the tolerance is there in, uh, in terms of countries, but not yeah. really in terms of sexuality. That's a different story. It's their decision, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. We might be, I mean, this school, we might be different on, like, topics of, like, you know, that you accept people from different cultures and stuff. But when it comes to, like, sexuality, we... You know, I think we're just like any other school, because that's not something that that clashes more than us. every culture is sort of a... How did we get from the subject of politics with McCain and Obama to talking about sexual preferences? Mm -hmm.